Steve's job. <laughs> Excellent. Boom. That was one boom. boom. Now we've got five booms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If this trend continues. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. Uh, uh, I'm Matt. This is uh, this is the Monolith Game Break stream. We are going to be playing today. We're playing a game that we are really excited about. This is uh, Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated, and uh, we're excited about it because if, if you're familiar with Clank, Clank is a game. It's a deck building game where you're going into a dungeon and and picking up cards and trying to avoid making noise because the dragon's going to take a bite out of you, and you're trying to get out with your treasure before you get eaten. Um, here today, I'm playing with my friends. Oh, yeah, and then he stopped talking. <laughs> uh, I'm Jared, I'm uh, one of the lead designers here. Uh, I'm Milan, also on the design team here. And I'm Steve, yet another designer. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, uh, when we play, so so I guess we all, this is this is all new to us, there's a lot, a lot of spoiler stuff going on, so I'm just going to read, it comes with a, a note, so this is Acquisitions Incorporated, so we have Let's see. I'll just I'll just read the should notes. We, should, before we do that, should we give the audience like a big legacy game spoiler warning? Yeah, yeah, we should do yeah. that. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Yeah. So, as opposed to normal Clank, this is a legacy game, which if you never played Pandemic Legacy or or Charter uh, Stone, Stone or yeah, yeah. Seafall, anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, it means that there are story moments that will alter the way we play the game as we go through it. And if you want to play the game and not get spoiled on those story moments. This is a bad place to be. <laughs> For all the reasons, this is a great place to be, and we're happy that you're here. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to have us dive in. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to read this, and then, then we'll go. Okay, so this is a note that came in the box. It's the top, first thing I saw. And it says, to all who adventure, greetings. Mm -hmm. I am Omen Dron, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. I am, if I do say so myself, something of an aspirational figure. And then some. And maybe even a little more. Not much, though. The correct amount. Have you always wanted to see faraway lands? Unearth immense treasure, carefully document that treasure, then send it away to your superiors, and then af years after, become curious as to its whereabouts? Then I have an incredible offer for you. At Acquisitions Incorporated, we are always on the lookout for new franchisees who are excited to operate a capable, profitable, legally distinct adventuring group. This is an excellent opportunity for any up-and-coming party. As participants in our new interplanar initiative, you will earn far greater glory and face far greater danger than you might be able to as independent operators. Plus, it's so easy to get started. The region beyond our commerce portal should be in dire need of adventurers. Befriend the citizens, build our brand, and prove to them that you are a valuable part of their community. Be the heroes they pay by being the heroes they need. Couldn't be easier. Go forth, be bold, and acquire. That's a new one I'm trying out. I just think I inspired myself. Regards, um, Aminifis Hereward Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Well, I'm inspired. You're inspired? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we start. So to start, there's this gigantic book of secrets. Book of secrets. And we start the first the first uh, first game. So this is gonna take place over a series of ten games, or give or take. And uh, each game there's gonna be new things happening. So this is our first week. We should be back next week. Um, I'm going to give this part to Jared. Oh, no. Yeah, and Jared's going to read the prologue. Game one prologue. Yeah. Ah, adventuring. It's a lifestyle for, for the phenomenally skilled or the truly desperate, or in your case, those who are a little of both. You hope to become the newest franchise of Acquisitions Incorporated, the famed adventuring for hire conglomerate. But first, you have to build a personal brand with good local recognition. To do that, you might have to help the citizens. <laughs> uh... All right, so now we choose a name for the old roadside inn your group has turned into your headquarters. Write that name in the banner on your franchise board. The Prancing Pony is not recommended for legal reasons, but technically we can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, for any McInface. <laughs> <laughs> You've got me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our inn name. Mm -hmm. We're stuck with it the entire time. No pressure. And the next 20 minutes of the stream will be <laughs> uh, the Well, so you just said the entire time, and mm -hmm. the entire contains in as That's a time. So now I want to work that in. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Let's 
Oh well, if you so if you go to an inn, you're tired. So the inn tired, in tired. Ooh, ooh, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah. we're getting <laughs> somewhere. This is how we name but, things in video games. <laughs> <laughs> All puns are good puns, right? Uh, I mean, no one's grown yet. Yeah, so no, no, no. Really no. It. <laughs> and, 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 and in tired is kind of a little bit like. Yeah. In Uh, oh. That is a weird thing. Can you not see us anymore? Oh, it it, well, it'll come back. It was because I, I don't know why it just switched over. We're not in studio oh. mode. I'm actually in Discord. That was weird. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Well, we don't know what the internet missed, but we just decided to name the inn The Sleeping Corpse. So. We think yeah. that that is non-trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should not be the one writing. Anything. Oh no, you got this. This was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Got this. Notably, the worst handwriting in the studio. Oh, there, you have so much competition. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's right. Now I actually kind of want to run a competition. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there are no winners. <laughs> so, uh, what's next in the book? Oh, Sorry. right, I'm still reading. Yeah, you're still in charge. Oh no. Uh, locate the town in the top center of the overworld game board and give it a name as well. Alright, Steve, okay. you're closest to... It's your turn. All right, well, my thinking on this is that all of the other towns on the board are something ridge, mm -hmm. so this town should also be something ridge. Mm -hmm. Ridgey McRidge face. <laughs> <laughs> See where I was going with this. Um, it's I... at the north, so I would have gone with north ridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> north or <laughs> er ridge. Northern ridge. <laughs> I kind of like North Ridge. North Ridge. <laughs> North Ridge it is. Is that two is that... R's or one? Uh, I'm going with one. Three. It's three R's. In a row. Yeah. Oh, you think you think I don't know those R's? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sticking to just one. North okay. Ridge. <laughs> North Ridge. -er? No. More North Ridge. <laughs> All right. Uh, story Thanks continues. The greatest danger facing you is the dragon Malathrex. We call him Spike. <laughs> he loves his name. <laughs> a powerful creature who lords over the area and all the people in it. Fortunately, his followers are far less intimidating. A small but resilient cult with a thing for weird poetry and giant reptiles. Kids today. <laughs> the good hall now will look great on your application to the Acquisitions Incorporated home office. Good luck. Uh, Alright, so now we have some instructions. We're going to fetch the mission reports document, fill in your names and character names, and keep it nearby for the end of the game. This is the mission reports document. All right. So we fill names. in things now. So it says put in our names and put in what? Put our names on the mission report document. So character okay. names on top and yeah. our actual names yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, and it looks like we have rows for our colors. Yes. yes. And I'm not too colorblind for them. <laughs> Uh, and then we can start doing this while that's getting passed around. We will also fetch the player deck boxes and distribute them. Yeah. Fill in your character names on those as well. Okay. Which are these boxes? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And there's a little reminder here, we were reading about this before the stream, to remember to check off the progress you make towards your personal goals. We each have little individual goals that will give us some distinct uh, things that we're trying to do on our boxes that are different for each other. For example, Steve is trying to ruin the rest of our days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like you. <laughs> right, also in the game. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, after all the names are added everywhere, we fetch card 001 from the card porium, place it in the contracts row. Oh, we already there. did that. Yeah, I, did. I skipped ahead a little bit. And then we will retrieve an, oh, yeah, so now we have our, our task. Retrieve an artifact and return to HQ in order to complete your application. And what does the actual contract say? It's way too far away from you to know what that's all about. Uh, meet the locals. When a player ends their turn on the castle, we, at the center of the map, read 19. Okay, yeah. all, the, all the entries are numbered. So I think now's the point where we open up our deck boxes. So Take out our stuff. Okay. And then, so we all have a different mini. This is my character. My oh, we should, should we tell everybody our character names? That's the thing, right? We should, we should do some introductions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. My character. Let's see, let's come up there. It's up there. Uh, that's that's my character, Badger Spindrift. Uh, I've got old Crumbbeard over here. I'm choosing to take. I don't know what uh, what clanks. Uh, you know, lore says, but I'm going with the Pratchett interpretation. So I don't know if Crumbeard is a male or a female dwarf. So we're going with they for Crumbeard. Okay. Uh, this is an elven woman uh, named Melatonia, who's pigmentally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be a pig. Uh, and this is uh, Sky Washington. Generic human, generic in every way. <laughs> generic in goals, generic in personality. Cool. So but it's still full of greed. Yeah, but it's like generic greed. There's, oh, no, okay. there's no good reason for oh, it. Okay. It's, it's not interesting. It's not part of some secret history. <laughs> so inside a box, we also have all of our clank tokens. These, these tokens work very similar to the, the regular game clank that, that you're all familiar with. We also have star deck cards, right? We also have a, a ring to go on our, our minis to, to indicate what color we are. I play green. So we're going to shuffle up, take our star decks and shuffle them up. Well, then we got to pick a starting player. Then oh, it is shuffled. It's not uh, yeah. specific. Turn one, two, two. What game were we playing that does that? The Aeon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. The breach was... Or the usual house rule on Dominion where you can just choose your split. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember Dominion that way. Oh, that's, that's the way we always play it because it oh, really? goes too much of a. Yeah, that's swing. a pretty big determinant. Yeah. Okay. It's not a bad house rule. I'm going to steal it. They were commenting that we, we could name everything else but the dragon. <laughs> but we <laughs> didn't. We gave him a nickname. The dragon might not care, but. <laughs> we are not limited to putting well, Kirby's in boxes. I mean, part of your goal <laughs> is angering the dragon. That's true. So, so I will call the dragon Spike. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm going to have Chwazi for the first. Oh, play Renegade is host. Yes, that's nice. Cool. Yay, thank you, Renegade. Yeah, hey. Renegade. Huzzah! Renegade is the people who make this, yes. right? Okay, ready to do it? This is this is an app that tells us who's going to go first. Ooh. Steve's going to go first. Ooh. They even did it in your player column. And so wow. uh, <laughs> you're going to put out. So we got to put out clank based on player player order, right? And so you're going to put out. Yeah, and do we do the ones for the arrivals of those guys, or no? Since they started there. They started there. No. Okay. So play order, and then first player puts three clank, three clank, two clank. One clank. Yeah. They go into the this. Yep, yep, yep. And we all start in our. Yes, yes, yes. In up here. Yep. And zero for me. Oh, wait. Zero for me, yeah, because I'm last. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's five cards. Five cards. Do you draw start your turn, or does everyone always have a hand? That's a great question. I think you. Say. Probably you draw at the end of your turn, so you have something to think about while your <laughs> while other people are going. You know, the, I just looked at the part that said how it was different, and I forgot <laughs> the part how it normally works. Okay, thank you. Well, this won't change Steve's turn. Steve will have his watch. Yeah. <laughs> My turn sucks. I got two stumbles and a couple burgles, so here's some more clanks. Uh, and then I got three skill to you spend. Your turn. Okay. And I think I want that advertisement and that synergy, I think. Both those. So those are the two that I wanted. Yes. One of them. One of them. You good? I am good. Okay, so. I'm going nowhere fast. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Oh, Arrive! Two. All players get one plus plus one clank. Two. Yep. Did the person who only has one clank just boom? <laughs> Wait, but it's a dragon attack too, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So, Sweet. So we do it. Oh, uh, so... All the clank goes in the back. Does the order matter here? Uh, I don't think so. I think the dragon... It's, it's... Is it at the, the end of the real... Check for a dragon attack at the end of the Because you only do yeah, one yeah, dragon. If there's at least one dragon. Yeah. Okay, so everything goes in the back. Everything goes in the back. This is the first time the dragon's attacking. Very exciting. All right, and we draw two. We draw two because... Steve. Okay, 
Yeah, you know what it is? I you're, can't hit... You're hotkeying. Yeah, but here's what's funny. is I was on Discord. This happened to us during d Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it, is, what it literally is. But yeah. the sound keeps going. But what it is is like... Yeah. Uh, no matter what, no matter what application I'm in, yep, I that hotkey does that. it. Yep. All right, so black is just set aside. Wait, I got hit. I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> I <love that. laughs> and, and this just goes away, right? Yeah, it just goes back. To, like we'll just put it like that. All right. Yeah, there are yeah. colors and base points. Yeah. 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 Or something. Okay. That's some talent uh, to be able to. <laughs> I've just barely made a sound. I had one clank, and then oh my God. because the dragon link Nonsense. spotted you, and that was enough. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so uh, I get a stumble for plus one clink. I've got a sidestep, which lets me move, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I can only move into the town into of Northern Ridge. No North Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> there is a market, so if you sell on seven gold. <laughs> oh, that's what that seven is there, yeah. so I can yeah. spend seven yeah. gold? Yeah, the gold yeah. allows you to go to the shop, and you can either buy a canoe or a crown. Got and it. the crowns mostly just give you points. Some of them interact with cards, and the canoes kind of like work like keys. I allow you to go to little past the little canoe spaces, little water ways. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to um, I'm going to spend three from my three burgles to get a town guard, okay. uh, which has no no acquire. So all of this just goes to my discard. So, wait, so you had how much did you have to spend? You three. Had three. Three. You could pick up a mercenary if you wanted. What? Oh, right, because it wasn't the wasn't town card. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I looked, I was looking the cost is yeah. I, I screwed yeah, up. Yeah, I, I totally cheated. I couldn't have bought this card. Oh, I was looking at the. Oops. The payoff. Uh, well, let's pretend the... that I just drew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all fine. So yes. uh, how much did you have to spend? I had sorry. Three, so the costs are in the bottom right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Blanking yeah. from my distance. It's over. been a little while. <laughs> we're, we're, we're still we're still uh, hungover from New Year's. So. so did I do anything correctly? <laughs> <laughs> if you did, then get out. <laughs> You're not a welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how we play games. <laughs> All right, so now, do we dragon attack again? No, 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 no. no. Only when new dragons. Yeah. Only new dragons. Okay, so this was replaced by yeah. advertisement. We mm -hmm. are declaring, and <laughs> that is the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'm up. Yep. Uh, I've got two stumbles. Uh, three by... Oh, three money. You know what blue is? Influence. It is skill. Skill. Yeah. 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 Three skill and one movement. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll move the only place I'm allowed to move, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then with three, I could either get a local that way or I think I will. Hmm. All right, and that's it for me. Okay. Uh, so, and you didn't, oh, you didn't, you didn't buy any cards? Or did I, you, I you bought, bought me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought them. Okay. Right. Card. Okay, so I have a scramble, so if you can move me to Northern Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, and I got one clank, I got a stumble there. Oops. And I got four to spend, so I think I might take that advertisement right now. And so then uh, I get to trash a burgle in my player discard pile, so trash and put yeah. that back in my box. That's really good. What? Oh, on acquired. Acquired, yeah. I didn't even do that when I yeah. fake acquired it last time. <laughs> so, one of the stick cancels out the other. <laughs> and I think that's, that's it, right? Okay, and arrive. Put three black cubes back in the bag. There's okay. only one to put back. Glad we kept them out. <laughs> Well, it's a bummer oh. that you took that advertisement because I could afford it this turn. Like legally and everything. Mm -hmm. I have two boots, so I'm a little bit Oh, everyone's personal yet. goals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's about personal goals. My personal goals is I got to get a new artifact every time. I got to get a mug token. And what mug tokens are you keep thinking of? You're talking. Yeah, you go for it. Uh, the mug tokens, if I get out, like if I'm one of the first people out and I don't get schmiced by the dragon, uh, I get 20 points at the end of the game, so I got to get my mug token. Um, let's see, I got to have 20 gold at the end of the game. That one seems pretty hard. And then I have to defeat a Dran agent, and I don't know what a Dran agent is yet, so... Maybe we, we'll we, see one. We yeah. all seem to have one thing on our list that we have no it's idea mysterious. what Mysterious. Yeah, so mine are... Uh, take the first artifact of the game, and I also have got a touch five different spaces in one turn, so this feels like kind of a rush character. Uh, consume a potion. Potions, I think, are mostly things you get from these uh, minor secrets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then the thing I don't know what it means is sacrifice an intern. Uh, we, got, we got a new dragon this turn. 
Oh, let's resolve that before I talk about my personal goals. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. In the bag. And we draw two cubes, and it is black and red. So I, I get hit. Mm -hmm. I got bit. I'm feeling pretty yeah. lucky considering how many cubes. <laughs> All right. So my personal goals: I'm trying to make Spike more angry. Uh, I'm trying to heal myself. Uh, I want to possess three market items at once, which seems difficult for now. I have two of them. Mm -hmm. And then I need to take a shrine token, which I don't know what that means just yet. So we'll find out sooner or later. Uh, could I ask a question about uh, this minus two clank before I purchase it? Sure. Does that take it off of this? Yes. yes. Okay. Only so off that. It only once, takes it out of that. Yeah, once it's in the bag, it is it's just there forever. That still seems okay. It's, it's a pretty good card already. Clank removers are good. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take this Ring of Invisification. Mm -hmm. Not invisibility, that's trademarked. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then I've got a boot, so I'm going to boot my way towards that uh, yellow person up there. That's you. Welcome to the party here. I'm not legally required to learn your names. Um, uh, and that's it for me. All right, we replace. Ooh, with a flying broom. Ooh. Cost six. six. So that's a lot of movement. Three movement and plus one on acquire. So while Mohan looks at his turn, my, my personal goals are I need to get artifacts that are worth ten or less. So I don't I, I'm I'm reasonable. I, I know that I'm not I'm not a twelve point artifact guy. <laughs> uh, I need some major secrets uh, because I just like to gossip, and I want to have twenty five cards in my deck because yeah, it's a game with cards. You want more cards in your deck. And then I need to plunder a ruin. I don't know what a ruin is. All right, so you guys are jerks because there's nothing that costs four out now. <laughs> um, I move one. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, stop. Oh, wait, no, you're over there. Yeah. Something amazing is going to happen soon because there's another book to read. <laughs> so I could get two mercenaries. As I recall, mercenaries aren't very good. <laughs> Uh, in basic clank. We got two things to find out there. I think the base thing to fight has means two swords instead of just one. Yeah, the cultist. Is the cultist double sided like normal or is it one sided? It seems that both sides are the, the same. Do I put the wrong right side now? out for which? Uh, they are identical. They're identical, okay. So you can see them. Every time. Got him. <laughs> one of them is more red than the other. I feel like oh. we should be playing the more red one. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you would say that, red player. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that I was in the cult? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe being the first to get to that will do something. So I'm going to take local guide, Ooh. which has uh, movement on acquire. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh. Two. Look. You want to read it? Sure. Since you did it. Two. The first player to reach this spot, you die. <laughs> Outside the forest trading post, a wild eyed man in ragged clothing is proclaiming the end of the world to a few of Malethrek's cultists. It's out there! I've seen it! Oblivion is coming, I tell you! It rises like a. He makes a little gesture with his hands indicating the doom. It's like this! Kind of. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> One cultist takes the bait. Guy, old man, listen, this is why you should worship dragons. They handle stuff like this. And if the dragon eats you, it's sort of what you expected anyway, right? <laughs> His fellows nod in agreement. The madman is about to respond and abruptly winks out of existence, disappearing in a sudden flash of inky blackness. After a stunned moment, the cultists seem to decide that they've won the argument. <laughs> You're not sure it works like that. <laughs> they seem quite pleased with themselves. All right, advance the rage level by one. Oh, no. oh. Fetch cards two and three from the card forium. Place them in the contracts row. Fill in the name of the first town on the return to blank contract. Uh, right. Cards are two, two and three. Is yep. it two and three. Two and three. Right. Yep. Two and three. Go to sticker sheet A, group four. Sticker sheet Okay, hold on. Sticker sheet what? What what? Sticker sheet A group four. A group four. I'm about to look at stuff. I got dollar yep. signs things. Apply a one sticker over waypoint two. 
waypoint two. Where's waypoint two? It's got to be Wait. the thing that Mohan's on. Just that? Oh, oh, oh. Is that the two that matters here? I would assume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, one sticker over waypoint two. What else could waypoint two be? Anything else? I don't think so, because then the next thing is take one now, which means I think I get that a you, Because you just said one. Yeah. 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 Want to put that on the two? So we just take one of them? I am declaring that to be yeah. the thing we're supposed to do. OK. <laughs> so Sticker apply. All right. So, so you get one of those. It looks like nothing special for me uncovering it, really. OK. So what are the new? Uh, sorry, so we have two new contracts. Oh, we never read out loud our first contract. Our right. first contract would be completed if a player ends their turn on the castle at the center of the map. Mm -hmm. uh, the two new contracts, one is return to Norther Ridge. Uh, when a player enters, sorry, when a player with an artifact enters the Norther Ridge space, <laughs> uh, read 40. Mm -hmm. uh, if the game ends first before Thank reading you. it, read 43. So if we don't do this one this game, we branch. Seems ominous. <laughs> and this one is discomfort coaches. Players can't travel by coach. When a player ends their turn on a coach space, read a thing. Oh. Here's one there's on the other set of board here. Mm -hmm. OK. Thus ends the turn. Smoke bomb. OK, nothing special. I think you're special, smoke bomb. Actually, it's really it's good. It's pretty good. It only costs <laughs> one. Allows you to bypass a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. And that's not an item, that's like all. Okay. But, but you trash the cart, so it's kind of like, like. It's like an item, item but yeah. it's a lot clearer how yeah. to use it. Yeah. Okay. Way better. <laughs> this is my go. Yes. So I'm going to move to where all the books are over there with my one side yeah. step. And I get one clank. Ah, oh, i got to learn to practice my throwing. And I got three to spend. Towns all over the place, right? Town, town, town. Yeah, places lousy with towns. Okay, I'm gonna take I'll take town guard. <laughs> sure. That's it. All right, replaced with twin scimitars. Ooh. Oh, we're, let's see. That's cool. better. That's a lot better than first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you go stumbles. And then there's a plank for me. And then I have five skill to spend, Ooh. which sounds a lot like a vorpal sword to me. Hmm. So is there a way to play that without generating three or more? Uh, well, it's a, an additional three or more. Oh, so yeah, you're generating six, six so I see. But then you get to sneaker stack. Like, you don't have to buy something every turn, but you have skill sneaker points stack. to spend every turn. So it's often a good idea. Yeah. I mean, late in the game, late sometimes game, you don't want yeah. that. Yeah. Although, yeah. if you can get... And there's usually a something that's yeah. at least worth points. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Dragon, no! Danger! Pull plus one Q. Okay, so every time dragons attack, we draw one more then, it's indicated here, until mm -hmm. that's defeated. And the dragon is attacking now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So when we're drawing three. If you need a dragon, draw. <laughs> My back did it again, I'd still go, ah, see, I said, it, feel better, Matt. It seems to correspond with the dragon attack. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> no. What, I got hit again? Oh, come on. Dude, uh, I finally, Wait I a finally got my co this. Mohan's drawing all the cubes, and <laughs> has not been hit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, being pigmentally challenged means that the dragon doesn't see me very well. Who, uh, that was your turn, right? Uh, uh, we'll see. All right. Right. So I'm going to stumble. And then I'm going to burgle for four. So I'm going to buy this smoke bomb. The smoke bomb is like neon. I feel mm -hmm. like most people who use smoke bombs <laughs> don't want to be attracting as much attention. Uh, and I'll use the remaining three to get twin scimitars to kill the people who spot me when I throw my smoke bomb. <laughs> All right. Two cards coming up. The advertisement. Mm -hmm. And consultant. Ooh. Ooh. Two cards. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Trash and burgle. Oh, yes. So good. You got one of those, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I've got two moves and five skill and nothing else. 
I think I will move to... Oh, so now I have to decide. Actually. You either not, you're going to get hurt, or you're going to go that way. Uh, huh, and, get, if, and if you go that way, you're stuck, right? Because the forest work like the ice patterns. Yeah. It stops you. Right? If I yeah. go that way, I get hurt, and then I get hurt again. <laughs> yeah. And then I hit a coach, and then we find out things. Yeah. Or you get a minor secret. Or you get a minor secret. Go to Dead Endsville for some reason. Um... <laughs> All right, Dead, Dead Endsville would have been a good name for the <laughs> uh, Let's live dangerously. Uh, okay. I'll get hit twice. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So this is just I directly put two. Yep. 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 And then, and then the thick card says something that says. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, player ends a turn. Do you want to? Do you want to buy your? Oh yeah. Your turn I'll, has an I'll buy an advertisement and trash this. So just back my. You can still spend the, the skill from it, but yeah. Uh, oh, there's nothing cost one though for me to get. Yeah, 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 yeah right. So that's okay. So again, in an efficient turn. Okay, so I'm gonna refill. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! The helpful NPC. NPC. We get to name them. Name them. When you acquire it. Fill in one blank space on this card when you acquire it. Alignment, talent, personal item, info. That's daunting. Okay. <laughs> What's the acquire text? Oh, oh, you oh, oh fill in one one so maybe we fill this out right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so I, when you acquire it. It's got five different boxes. Oh, this yeah. is also Name, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, anyway, so I need the book. I will give you the book. Give this the book. 178. That's all the way past 176. <laughs> <laughs> You hit 179, you've gone too far. Smash checks out. <laughs> Efficient public transportation is vital when tackling a wide variety of side quests, and Comfort Coaches has been more than up to the task until today. Unfortunately, this station platform is currently under the control of a dragon wing, making coach service impossible. The creature skitters around the platform, devouring pieces of each building, bench, and signpost as if sampling a party platter. <laughs> You've never known dragon wings to be polite, but aggression like this is especially troubling. The station staff don't know what to do, but you've got a few ideas. Determine your next move. If you generated any attack this turn, I did not. You did not. You fight the dragon wing off, impressing the comfort coach's staff. You gain one and draw an extra card, blah, blah, blah. So I don't do any of that. Otherwise, you have to bait it into a makeshift trap, barely evading serious harm. You get plus one clank and take a minor secret. And take a minor secret. Destroy the discomfort coach's contract. Destroy. destroy. Coach double can be used again. All right, our okay. first destroy. OK. Ah! Oh, I handed you the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's our trash pile? We should we should just you know, leave it like over there. Throw it at the camp. Okay. Uh, are these reveal? I guess it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are... So it's too money. Okay. And that one, you get it. You just get money. It's. Uh, yeah, it just hangs out. We just hang it out. It's too money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You get all the fun stuff. <laughs> okay. I because get... I believe in reading. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're so angry. I like reading. I like reading. I get two stumbles and three burgles, and I can buy something for three. Oh, uh, burgles. Burgle, burgle. <laughs> I'm going to take an explore because i got to move. That's it. It's a lot of burgles, but so far no hand. <laughs> uh, all right, I got one stumble, so there goes my clank. I got one boot, so I'll move here and I get a gold mm -hmm. too. Everybody gets one for going right now. Everybody gets a gold. Good. And I got four skill. So in Clank in general, you don't have to stop on spaces to do their thing as, as you're passing through. That is, I think, true. That's what I remember yeah. from the other Clank games. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always been having it. <laughs> I like the sounds. Otherwise, it's too annoying to like have to like, stop on the market. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I'll take that and I'm done. Okay. Big place. Yeah. Dragon. dragon. Yeah, you knocked in your turn there. Dragon. Which card came out? The Mars. Mars and Boots. Let's see, get through force. That gives you clanks. Okay. It's, it's literally just. 
tr tree shoes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, like if, if we wood got... clogs were followed to their logical conclusion. <laughs> it's all plus one cube, right? Uh, yes, because that's still there. Wow, I'm good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Even distribution of damage. Pretty good. All right, so it's me? <laughs> Except two of those didn't come from the back. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm going to play my town guard to kill the rival adventurer. Uh, good on you. Discourage. I'm going to discourage them. <laughs> um, on defeat, I get two gold and a clank. Yeah, that's, yeah. And gold can be... What's the deal with gold? Uh, so you can spend it, you spend it at the towns, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. And if, at the end of the game, it's worth a point. Each. It's also points. Yeah. Uh, so I get a clank, mm -hmm. and then I stumble, which gives me clank, and then I've got two boots, but it doesn't matter because all I can do is reach that forest right in front of me. So yep. I could move me into that forest. And I've got four you your gold for entering it. Covering the yeah, oh, yes. yes. I get another gold. Thank you. And then I will use my four to purchase. <laughs> is that you? It was. Um, <laughs> Checking um, out a different device. Uh, I'm going to take those bark skin boots. Ooh. Okay. You all, you all set? I'm all set. Okay. Dragon attack, more bark skin boots. And a deck of many cards. Also. Eight. Wow. The draw three cards. That's pretty awesome. And if you fire it on a magic circle, it goes on top of your yeah, the magic steps. Okay, so I'm, I get attacked again, right? Because two more dragons came out. Well. You may get attacked again. It's gonna be. We got attacked. <laughs> we draw. Actions. We draw only draw oh, two, two though. Yeah. Yes, thanks I, I, for your valiant efforts yep. of uh, defeating the noisy adventurer. Convincing him to go home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> His mother's worried about him. Yeah. Two blocks. Kind of oh. Okay. How do you deal in this game? Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is oh, yeah, seems yeah, pretty we brutal. We haven't discovered any method of yeah. yet here. It's usually the potion secrets, right? I mean, this is just those, game yeah, one. There were also cards that did it in, in base clank. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we've seen any that do it yet, though. Um, okay. Um, I'm up. I've got one stumble. Uh, five skill and a move. So I'm going to just go grab my So wait, pack. you can, if you want, can you, you can use the coach now, right? Because the coaches work, so you could go all the way over here. Yeah. If you want it. With my one move? With your one move. Mm -hmm. If you want it. I mean, I just want to make sure we know how the coaches work now that they're oh. operational again. I could do that. I want to make sure I get the first artifact, because that's a personal goal. So is there any danger of you guys getting to an artifact <laughs> on your next turns? It's possible. And it'd be pretty tough. Yeah. You'd have to three move minimum. And the forest is going to stop us on, in that direction. Yeah. Oh, I see. You're looking the other direction. You're looking mm -hmm. the Grab it. No, I think I'm just going to rush. Mm -hmm. So I'll move. I'll grab the cheap artifact. Okay. It is yours. And the Three, two, spike goes up two. once. Spiky. Yeah. Huh? Scary. Oh, I see. That's what the little up arrow is yep, reminding yep, yep. us of. Okay. Uh, and then I've got five to spend. And again, no fives. You guys are the worst. That was harsh. The <laughs> worst. Harsh with the fifth button. Um. Stick with the plan and get the hell out. <laughs> Although, all right, I'm done. <laughs> but but uh, keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I have a general comment of in original Clank, I'm always not sure whether getting out early is actually that great. We mm -hmm. do a lot of sitting around. And yeah, there's not a lot of damage on the board yet. 
Okay. It doesn't feel like okay. you're going to apply pressure. But I immediately fill this in, because I did take the first artifact of the game. Yep. And write in that number, right? The seven. But I don't think that matters for me as much as you, because you have to have unique artifacts. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. using numbers to make sure. Yeah. But I can put it in, just yeah. for my end, which there one some, I got. Did you guys know this? Because it did come up when I was doing some place. When the person goes out, what ends up happening is, you now on your turn are drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Draw, draw, yeah. yeah. So there's a very yeah. big reason to. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. To hurry, yeah, yeah. Hurry, but it, hurry it's up. not necessarily a huge advantage to be doing that too early. Yeah, too early. Yes. So I got uh, I got two moves, but I can only go to the forest. So, yeah. And I'm gonna get a coin for going to the forest. And I have a fighty fight, but I can't fight anything. And then so I got five to spend. So I think. I think I'm going to take the Freelance Wizard and another Explorer so I can get on my giddy up here. And that's it. Okay. You're yeah. feeling for you. No dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start by playing my Consultant to discard a card and draw two cards. <coughs> and then mm -hmm. I'll play my Synergy to trash this stumble. Oh, you have a card that trashes. Ooh. And if I yeah. trash a stumble, I gain oh, plus two so pink, so... That's what I noticed about there. the other pink games, that the, the things that like trash are really strong. In fact, there's a secret yeah. that lets you, mm -hmm. that seems way better than every other secret. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I use my one remaining boot to move to this forest. And then I got a Vorpal Sword and a Freelance Cleric. How dare the camera cut out during my moment oh, like really. this? <laughs> I did not even do a parenthesis there. Uh, it's something that we'll just have to figure out for later. That is just annoying as crap. <laughs> I don't even see where that would be changed. Oh, and I, oh, I did an extra boot for that, but I can't use it because it'll pull this off. That's fine. Are you done? Yeah. That was good. All right, you got an enchanted cape and a dragon from a random encounter table. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's an actual table. It is an yeah. animated table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Animated table That's awesome. Doesn't need a dragon. We're drawing three now because of the ire that Melatonia has, has <laughs> brought down upon us. All right. Finally, a <laughs> dragon noticed. Uh, there's an elf running around. <laughs> <laughs> With its treasure. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm going to play Barkskin Boots, which gives me plus one clank, and Ring of Invisification, which takes that clank away. Uh, so I don't put any clank out. Yeah, and, and you can go through forests. And start. I can go through forests, and I've got three uh, stats. So I'm going to go... So I'm going to go... Um, I think I want to go down to Southbridge. Southbridge? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so the things happen along the way here, right? I get a minor secret when I stop Blue in North Ridge. Middle Northridge. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. this is public? Yes. All right, so it's two swords. So nice I can just trade this in at some point for two swords? Yes. So does the fact that these are on the board, or I'm sorry, that we don't put the tokens on the board for the small secrets mean that everybody who stops there gets one now? Yeah. Instead of just mm -hmm. the first, first two. Or two? Uh, yeah. 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 That is right. a change. Yeah. Now I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I see. And then I've reached, so... That, those like little fruits down there? Yeah. They're just worth three points if I go to that space. Those, Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, it looks they're like three yeah. points. They they have a thing where you, they get uh, they get consumed, but I'm not sure how they get consumed. They are the what are they called? They're called something. Something important. They're called uh, those are called mystic fruit. Mm hmm And they are unexpended until you expend them. But, what, but we, we don't know what... They're what also untapped until you tap them. <laughs> yes, that's right. They are juicy until you juice them. Yes, that's right. <laughs> they are uneaten until you eat them. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use my five purchase to buy an explore and a blank the helpful blank who always says blank. Um, Excellent. I'm going to fill in their name as... You know what? I'm going to fill in their name as Mark. Mark the helpful NPC. <laughs> We should ask the stream for, for help uh, naming some of this stuff. Yeah. Well, well cool. when we determine Mark's traits later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. They have time to reflect on that. <laughs> <laughs> Freelance Rogue. Oh. Mm. Money generator. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so that's just three points and no other known effects. Correct. <laughs> they are. They're, they're identical, right? And the uh, opposite side, they still give you points, but, but I don't. It strongly implies that you can eat them. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how to eat them. <laughs> I watch you eat, yet I have no map. What's the. <laughs> what was the weird video game about uh, evolution? Ancestors? Is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where like doing basic tasks, like figuring out how to like, fold a knife. <laughs> So I feel, that's what I'm imagining here. It's just like, I've got this food. <laughs> <laughs> the old airplane joke. Kind of yeah, I'm drinking from it. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, so I am generating all sorts of clanks. Holy moly. Two clanks. If I make any clank this turn, gain two. Don't mind if I do. Um, and then I've got four moves and three skills. And I can go through forests. Okay, well, I'm going to stick to the plan, even if, though I don't know if it's any good. Uh, I'm just going to make a beeline home. So I'm going to take two more damage. <laughs> How many moves you have? Four. And you can move through forests here right up here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, good God. And you get, Mohan, you get another money too, I guess, right? Yep. Hey. Uh, heck, and then with three, I want to buy something that's worth points. What? <laughs> uh, freelance the, Rogue. Freelance Rogue it is. All right, uh, Dragon Attacks dragon. and Danger. All right, let's go on this plan. So you're going to have to draw four, mm -hmm. and there's some of you in here now. Yeah, but I'm mostly okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody's talking <laughs> in a slight clock here. <laughs> hmm. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh my what god! What the heck? Three yellow. Three. Yeah. That's, I'm just hanging out in the right. woods over here, not causing well, any trouble. Mel yeah. Melatonia's uh, pigment deficiency has allowed her to be able to sense color with touch. So I'm able to draw from the bag and avoid blue. Uh, 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 uh. Is that insensitive to the colorblind person? <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, your fingers are colorblind too? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just compensate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I have a freelance wizard, so I draw a card. I got a boot, so I'm going to move to this other forest. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the jungle. Yeah. Um, and then I have seven. <laughs> I have seven to spend, which is means I can't get the deck of many cards, which makes me incredibly sad. Uh, shoot. Ooh. Wow, we got up to seven. I did. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take during another place. Okay, I'm gonna take the enchanted cage and two explorers because I need to move. <laughs> I believe that's it's cage. Enchanted cape. Did I say cage? Oh! Oops. Enchanted cape, yes. Oops. Does the space I'm on count as touching that space? What? You, what? Because what? if I did, I touched five spaces that turn. But you were here, and you went one, two, one. And yeah, you touched five spaces. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Ooh. All right. Check, check a box. So I got this. Mm. Which means I get a marker. I don't know if you get that now. Okay, we'll or, figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. But uh, I'm done with my turn, right? Yeah, I did all my things. <clears throat> it hurts real bad having a turn like this after watching uh, my home's turn there. But I have a stumble, and I have four Oh, I don't even know what to do. Oops, sorry. Oh, it's not a drag. So that's good. Okay, so yeah, didn't affect your turn. Um, oh, that's real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got one already, and I was planning on double mercenary it's, since this So, monster, is this so discard from your hand, presumably? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I am 
And that's Sorry. when you discard a card from your hand, it's like one you have not played. Right, right, right. 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 You don't get to also use it. You don't get to double dip. If it says trash, you can double dip. Right. right. Although, it seems like in this game, they're, they're more explicit about where you're trashing yep. from, so there's no ambiguity. So I'm going to start out with my friend, the town guard, uh, which, since I'm in a town, uh, lower south ridge, or southern north ridge, as it's sometimes called, uh, I get to draw. Um, so that gets me a, uh, I, I have a fight, so I'm going to use that fight with a sidestep to move into the garden of apples we can't eat. And I will take an apple. And then I'm going to use Scramble to move onto the dagger treasure there. And I will take that as my treasure, which mm -hmm. moves up my, our spikiness. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to stumble, because I have to do that before we're done. Okay, great for us over here. Yeah, we're in <laughs> some deep, uh, deep something. Some I'm, deep banter food. I'm going to, oh, should I save this? Uh, I have a question about adjacency, because I have this smoke bomb. Mm -hmm. I, I think I want to save it for... Oh, I have to actually play it. But but you can break one way. You can break all the rules for moving. Right, right but I can't choose to not use it this turn. That, that part I didn't think about when I picked this up. Because I can't choose to save it for the turn I want it. Oh, I have to yeah. use it the turn I draw it. Yeah. So I will, I'll use it and go back to Southbridge, because it's the, mm -hmm. the thing that makes sense. Uh, and then I'll play Twin Siftars. So I've got... I used one of my fights, and I want to kill a thing. You did yeah. use a fight? I used a fight to, to get through there. So you don't have to, if you wanted yeah. to save it, to yeah. be able to kill this for example. Because, well, I've got this anyway. Um, oh, you this, do have, you have this, an extra. Yeah. That. yeah. Can I split my fight? Yes. OK, yeah. so I'm going to generate four fight from Twin Scimitars and my potion to kill the rival adventurer and the random counter table. Oh, OK. Nice. Uh, so on defeat of this one, I get a clank and, and two, two gold. And then on defeat of the random encounter Take table, a major I get a major secret, which wow. is one of my personal goals. Awesome. Mm -hmm. To get a major secret? Yep. Oh. Uh, and this, these are also public? Yeah, I can just reveal them right away. So what is the three little stars on this? It's worth ah, three yes, points. Yes, 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 yes. This is stars. a new new token. It's a dark dragon egg. Keep this token. It's worth three points at the end of the game, and all your opponents get plus three clank. Right now? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I like it. Uh, so, but I took, I got two of my goals this turn. I took an artifact worth 10 or less, yep. because the dagger's only five, mm -hmm. and I took a major secret. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, and then I also have my purchases I can make this turn. I have five skill to spend, so I will purchase the consultant and a mercenary. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Very likely attack this turn. Ooh, money. Nope. nope. No. Ooh, minus two clank. Concealed dagger. Okay, Mohan. Okay, I... Get out? Nope, not this turn. Oh. All right, I've got one stumble. Ooh. <laughs> That's getting a little risky. Get him, Spike. Uh, Get I him, Spike. One. I do not have seven money. Oh, you're so close. Unfortunately. You could have got a crown for ten points. I know. Maybe I'll generate a money next turn. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw where both of your hands were. How did that even happen? <laughs> I invoked my draw pile, I think. Um, I think with four, I'll get the jeweled circlet. And on the choir, I get a clank. Oh, I cheated. Again? I put the smoke bomb back in my deck. I was supposed to. Trash it? Trash it. Which oh, means yeah. here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it for me, and arrive. All players get a clank. Uh, wow. <laughs> a lot of clank. A mess. But a lot of clank is also the same as a little clank. For yeah, us. relative. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, except for the black part. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good? Uh, yeah. Of some okay, I have two stumbles, so two more clank. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, and I have two to spend and a move, so I'm going to move over to here. Uh, and for two, I'm going to take the concealed dagger. Nice. Yeah, that's it. What does that do, Matt? That's really the concealed good. Da the concealed dagger is pretty cool. It gives you two attack, but it also gives you minus two clank. Oh, and I get a fight. Yes! I get a, I get a, I, when I get it, I get uh, a one sword, but I can't do anything with the sword. That is an awesome item. Is it? Yes. It seems pretty good. 
Alright, so my turn. I'll start by playing my two burgles. I will synergy to trash one, but I'm going to leave it out for a second. So I remember my skill total. Uh, and then I have three swords with this mercenary, so that sounds like I'm killing something. Do it. Uh, if we're on a town space, two and minus two clank. Well, two is enough to get me to seven, and the minus two clank seems good. Can I two my king three? Yeah. Let kill him, take two, but really I will just put five back and take a canoe. Canoe? Um, Ooh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna go. So I have wow. one sword left, all my skill left, a bunch of brooms. Whoa! Oh, nice. I wasn't in the town yet. I moved to the town now. Now I killed the guy. That's what I had that. And then ah. I that. So I have two moves left. So I'm gonna go here to the wizard's tower with my canoe. Nice. Oh, Let's see. And then I get a bunch more money, so that's good. And then I have one more move ahead of me, so let's find out what number eight says. Yeah, you got it. Steve you got it. gets to read a book. Ooh. I've heard that reading, reading is important. I've heard it's fundamental. <laughs> <laughs> a sturdy lodge in this so, forest. So these are just worth one point. Okay, so buying the crown is just a, a game. Three yeah. points. Yeah, it's that. It's D3. Can I get a room? <laughs> <laughs> A sturdy lodge in this forest is the home of the Greater Ridge Area Explorers Society and their president, a half-orc woman named Gargi. We have a big season ahead of us, and we could use a hand tackling some of the trickier jobs. Feel like pitching in? We can even show you around a bit and help you learn the terrain. So we need to fetch cards 96 and 97 from the card emporium and put them in the contracts row. Oh boy. And then we need a sticker. Ooh, hold on. One, one thing at a time. All right. 96 and 97, sir. 96, 97. Hold on, get there. 96 and 97. All right, so we've got a new contract for heavy metals. When the player with the nine point artifact, which no one's picked up yet, it's this iron and green ingot here, uh, ends their turn, read 179. If game three ends without this happening, we will branch to a different one. Uh, and then we also have secret tunnels. A player who ends their turn on the minor secret space in the northwest corner of the map, the dead end up there, mm -hmm. uh, may spend a boot to read 25. If game two ends before this happens, we branch to a different one. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. And then on sticker sheet A, we can move to nine. Uh, we get to apply a path sticker to this space, okay. and I guess I get to choose, or do we all choose this group? I don't know, but we apply a path sticker from the space to either North Ridge, South Ridge, or the five artifact space here. Okay. Uh, I choose the space that I'm on. <laughs> if we get, if we have to uh, agree on this, I vote for South Ridge. Uh -huh. Sorry, say it again. We do what? We get to One pick. of these so there's get a little path connected there, with right? a path sticker yeah. to, to where on that. Yeah. Or does Steve just get to I, pick? I think, I think whoever's turn it is Jesus. Yeah. Right. Well, does it, what does the book say? What does the book say? Uh, it just says apply the path sticker so, to, yeah, in this space, to either of those. Yeah, that's your choice. Like my choice? Uh, I actually think I'd prefer going to North Ridge than South Ridge. Alright, and then we also need a draw a card sticker to go over our waypoint. Yeah, yeah, I got one of those too. And, I, and then Steve gets to draw, I assume. And then it seems like, so I guess I get to draw from that immediately, right? That was your yeah. experience with the other one. And then I also... Right there, like there. Yeah. 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 And then I also get to choose to either draw a card or take a minor secret immediately. So wow. since I get a draw already, I'll look at that first before I make my decision. Uh, oh, so, uh, so I will take a minor secret the one. That was wow. eight. That's great. Wow. Oh, and I got a dragon egg from a minor secret, which oh, increases his rage, which means I get to put a check mark on my nice. nice. So finally I had a turn that wasn't embarrassing. Okay. Well, then later. And then I also drew this Vorpal Sword. Which, and you have enough attack. Uh, and I have enough attack. Yeah. So I do get plus one clank from that, sadly. Because and it's I also nice. get five <laughs> gold and have three more swords to spend. Uh, Wait, what are you getting the five gold from? 
uh, from, oh, from, from, having, from enough. having a total of six. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I actually only spent two on that guy, so I have four swords left. So if I defeat both those guys, I get six, six more money? That's yep. six points, nothing else. <laughs> that sounds real good. Wow. That was, that was a killer that's, turn. That's a turn right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I am done. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there well, will be an attack. So wait, where'd you put the sticker? Uh, here. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Alright. It's, it's all going in. Good. Dragon is coming, and we're going to draw four. <laughs> okay. You guys also have trouble writing on your box with your charges? Uh, Mine's been okay. It's a little glossy. All right, one, two, three, four. Hey, that's not too bad for me. Not bad enough for, for my waking, but... Oh, then I threw a vertical away. All right. And it's me. All right, I have a pretty boring turn. Uh, now I have to debate if I want to try to hit that dead end. I feel like I've got time to because there's two players who don't have artifacts yet. I mean, you just need to get above the line. And then I mean, you yeah, you're risking score, 20 right? points. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to sidestep up into the mountains there. Nice. Uh, uh, and then I stumble. And then for three, I'm going to purchase... Um, oh, you don't even have to decide exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to do both. I just... Yeah. Yeah. The, choice, the was... choice was really about if you thought you were going to get to seven for the yeah. town, maybe. Yeah. Um... And at one point, I had a dream of reaching the castle to complete our contract, but now that dream is dead. Uh, I'm gonna pick up. That might be. Uh, wait, what's good with you? Badger. Badger mm -hmm. might be the one to get to the castle. For my three, Tempted. I'm gonna buy. Uh, if you don't, I might on my way back out if I get to have a way back out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna buy the uh, Deep Crow Runt and the Mercenary. Good. So that flips a new card, which is a dragon attack. Uh oh. Alright, four. Alright. It's technically possible for me to die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it only kind of helps us, right? Because you'll still be drawing clank every one of your yeah. turns. Yeah. But it does at least mean you don't get a bunch of points. Nope, not. No dead Mohan. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that already. This is by far the most damage dealing game. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Just, I don't know if Legacy brutal. just starts pretty brutal. Or I was worried like away, this, I was worried the map was going to be too small and be too easy, but no, <laughs> no. This is okay. Um, I freelance robe to get two money. So now that while I'm still here, I'll spend seven. Wait a second. We already screwed up. You you had completed that contract. Which one? Return to Northridge. On oh. Return last turn. Uh yeah. All right. Yeah, oops. So we should probably do that. Let's now. just process it before my turn. Yeah, yeah. Let's turn. do that. Yeah. Oops. Okay. We need forty. Probably doesn't change. Professionals. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we'll get it better. We'll, we'll fix it post. <laughs> Didn't we already establish that playing by the rules wasn't <laughs> how we do things? Upon returning to town, you find a crowd clustered at what was once a bridge and is now the exact opposite, <laughs> an entire absence of a bridge, replaced by a heap of rotten timbers that leave a slimy black residue on anyone who handles them. You learned that the bridge spontaneously collapsed earlier today, not too long after you passed through. If you didn't know better, you might think something nefarious was going on here. Either way, if you can't cross the river, you'll have to find another way home. Go to, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Go to sticker sheet A, group five. Oh. oh. Yeah. 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 Oops. He was just sitting over there knowing this I was know. coming and having to stay quiet. Well, you should have warned, told us. I, I, that got, I got A5. Where's it going? No Apply the double path sticker over the path between town and HQ. Ah, so it's more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you get, oh, so boots a, or, or a canoe. boots or a canoe. Well, well, well. Triple. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Fetch card 142 from the card forium and place it in the contracts row. What number? It was 142? Yep, 142. And then destroy the return to Northern Ridge contract. All right, so the new, the new contract is bushwhacking. A player who ends their turn on the space <laughs> 
directly south of headquarters, which looks mm -hmm. like that space, mm -hmm. um, may spend five skill or three boots to read 44. Oh. If the game ends first, fetch card 109 from the card podium, place it in the contract's row, and destroy this contract. So we will branch this game. As so well. something happens if someone ends their turn here, and something happens if someone ends their turn here? Uh, this one is not ending your turn. From here, you can spend resources to make a thing happen. Yeah. Uh, this one is ending your turn. Your okay. game, I guess. Oh, yeah. No one's actually gone to the castle. Yet. Yep. Right. Yeah. OK. Uh, so now, my actual turn. <laughs> Three lines rogue for two. Uh, then while I'm here, I'll spend seven. <laughs> oh. Because I actually have the notes. Oh. Oh. Um, what well, doesn't even matter. Wow. This whole situation. Um, this whole situation. Man. Okay, uh, so I generated a clank. Uh, I've got three moves and four skill for the sapphire. Which is two clank on a firing, but it doesn't matter. Matter because I get to the end. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, get, you get your beer, you get your mug. And I am checked out. Was that the turn? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, off the clock. Off the clock. Off the clock, <laughs> yes. No longer working. Yeah. Jira tasks are resolved. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm off the clock. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But there is one last now. dragon attack on my turn. I think, I think those, those clanks get. I would do uh, finish taking rest of turn, then remove your figure from the board and all your clank cubes from the clank area. I'll take one of the mech okay. tokens. Uh, yeah. Then on. These all go away too. Uh, I mean, they can't possibly matter. But if he pulls out blue cubes, they're, they're just they're like black cubes. They're black cubes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is an attack for four. Two, three, four. Alright, yellow and green. The two players doing the. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Steve. We got this. We got this. Okay. Um, we might want to play faster. To yeah. Get done before we have to go back to our actual job. Actually. No, we're off the clock. <laughs> Game we're breaks off over! The clock. So, for two, I'm going to go over here and take a minor secret and then see, what, see where I land. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to check this out. Oh. Um, and we do the contract. What? Which yeah, one? Now or end of turn? Which one? Are we at end of turn? Which one? What, 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 oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, I, mean, I haven't decided if I... Yeah. I haven't decided oh, if yes, I stop yeah. there. Oh, yes, end there. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm trying to think if I'm going to keep going, because if I don't keep going, I'm not going to get an artifact, and that's bad. Uh, Steve, could I see the rulebook actually? Yeah. <laughs> so, with my <laughs> fight... I've joke before. <laughs> with my fight, I'm actually... I'm going to keep going, because otherwise I have a chance to get a thing. So I got to know. I got to heal. I'm gonna heal now. Ooh. Can uh, can yeah? Can you heal me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one green back. Uh, and then for six, I think for six. Okay, I'm just gonna take a ruby. Do it for six. Who's almost dead? Uh, uh, Steve, Steve is almost uh, dead. Steve is three hits away from death. Good old crumb yeah. beard. Yeah, okay. It's all right, though, because one of my goals is to heal a point of damage, so I'm just setting myself up for future success. Yes! <laughs> Critical success. <laughs> all right, so you're done? Yeah. And you didn't end in the castle. We refill right. with a dragon attack. Of course, of course we do. Dragon Mohan. <laughs> <laughs> Will I get them? And we haven't seen an event card, right? There's event cards. I know I haven't seen it. Okay. They're there. All right, it's four. It's four. Oh, Steve is one hit away from death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm ready for you, Steve. Look at all these points that are going to be meaningless in a few mm -hmm. minutes here. Uh, I have two boots, which is the least useful number of boots I could have right now. So I can get not to the artifact. Yep. Uh, and then I have five skill. Fancy disguise is looking pretty good. Mm, yeah, no. So you don't have any clank for it to leave. Uh, 
Yeah, the sales call seems pretty good too, because I feel well in boots, so I think I'll take that. Alright. Over to you. That's it for you. Alright. Uh, brings up the briefcase of holding, which lets you draw cards. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to stumble, I'm going to bark skin boots and mercenary to move into the uh, Dead End Mountains, which uh, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gets me a minor secret, which, oh, is a potion of boot, but I don't need it yet. I'm going to use my uh, other spare boot to complete contract secret tunnels. Uh, so I read 25. You have to end your turn, and then, oh, then okay. if you have a spare boot. Well, then I will not do that. Uh, I will have a spare boot, but first I will spend my remaining two fight to kill this mimic to draw two cards. Nice. Uh, which gets me more boots and more skill. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which could get me a mysterious tone, which seems like a good call at yep. this stage. Yep. Um, and then I will end my turn, use the spare boot to complete the contract. Thank you for clarifying that. So I need. Uh, Book space 25. Book space 25. You know, book spaces. Book space. Book entry 25. Turn the book space. Um, the secret tunnels here aren't all that secret now that you're looking for them. One leads straight through the mountain into a subterranean burrow, finally emerging underneath a half-destroyed castle not far from your headquarters. A chill finds its way into your bones, and you decide you'd rather not linger. Go to sticker sheet F, groups 41 and 42. F. It's the first time off of A. Sticker sheet F, groups 41 and 42. Apply stickers R4, R14, and R21 to the rule book. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, these are new rules summarized at the right. New rules summary. During setup, put a white, W-I-G-H-T, cube in each ruin space. Oh, ruins! That's my thing! Ooh. Oh, wow. Nice. When a player enters a ruin, they get two gold. Then place the white cube in the dragon bag. Whenever a white cube is pulled from the dragon bag, all players take one damage. After the attack, oh. return it to the bag. Oh, so this is, this is R4? Yeah, this is the uh, R, R4, R14, and R21. Okay. Or like the bounty hunters. Yeah, so we're adding new space. rules to the rule book here. Uh, and then R14 and R21. These are all rule book stickers. Yeah. Place your figure. This is R14A. So I don't know if there's eventually going to be an R14B, but this is R14A. Well, this says just R14. All right. Okay, but then it says. Interesting. Yeah. Apply the map sticker to the northwest corner of the board. The ruined space on the sticker replaces the empty space next to the town. So that's this big one? Yeah. So, and it goes, it connects to where he Oh, is. this gives me an alternate way back. Yeah, oh, that was such a good idea. I make good decisions when I that. don't think I'm making them. <laughs> okay, and then also... It does require three way. boots to put the first move of this. That's fine. R21. And then, then white cube. And then we need to uh, fetch the white cubes from the additional component box and add them to the bank. And we will place a white cube on that room space. Oh, and place my figure on the major secret space. It, it skips me through for being the first person oh, to reach it. Oh, all right. Does a major secret go on there right now? Take a major secret immediately. Wow. Okay. That was a fantastic thing yeah. to explore. Uh, and then destroy the secret tunnels contract. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to put F back in, and then we got to find those white cubes. It'd be really cool if they were actually... Does the white over. cube happen right now, or were you able to get by the white? The white cube goes on the space in front of me. Oh, I So see. if I go there, I will hit it. Wait, what do white cubes do again? I missed. missed the, the white cubes go into the bag. bag. When they're drawn, they hit everybody and then go back into the bag. Do they go to the tank area first or directly into the bag? I believe they go straight to the bag. Let me double check. That was <laughs> number <laughs> 25. And what color are the white cubes? White. Please tell me they're white. I'm going to guess that they're white. Does, um, does it say? I it doesn't. It, I it only ever refers to them as white and I, I feel They've very safe assuming yeah. there's the white ones if there's white ones in the white. Okay. <laughs> yes, so that's what happens. When you enter a ruined space, you get two gold, you put the white directly into the bag, and then it always goes right back to the bag. So it goes on that space right there. Yep. So, oh, that's interesting. If we don't have the alternate way out of town, out of uh, HQ, in the next game, we're going to be putting a white into play very quickly. Yep. 
I assume our end game branch is going to give us something. Because this is a Well, I think if we do bushwhacking, there's going to be another way we, out. We wouldn't even be able to move out of here. Oh, right. Start I, I do think this is going to create an if Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, sense. that's my turn. Uh, I flip this, and I hit a dragon attack. <laughs> oh, oh I, guess, I guess it's <laughs> Sorry, Steve. two dragon attacks in a row coming right now. Basically, I'm sorry, I mean, there's a lot of cubes in here. We've seen most of yours, right? We've seen most of yours. You know what? I'm going to break my health potion that I got off the major secrets to get some health back. <laughs> just, just, just in case. Just insult me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Safe. Ooh. Oh, wow. A lot, a lot of me. <laughs> a lot of Mohan. One for me. Okay. Good thing you healed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And then this is your and turn. And now I just draw four. four. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. No. <laughs> wow. wow. Agile Crumbbeard. Oh, it was if it was green, not yellow. Oh, sweet. You're safe. Whew. Okay. It's a moment to panic. It's my go? It's your go. Okay, so I first I stumble and I put two clank out. Oh, okay. And then uh, I have two damage. Oh, and I get minus two clanks. So let's come back, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to attack this thing and draw two cards. Yep. All right. That's good. Ah, oh, I need another boot. Oh, but I, I get this one, I get to draw another card. Yeah. I got another boot! Yes! Okay. Um, but I don't have another companion. But I have three boots, which is great. Sorry. Are you really going to do this to me right now? I have to. Oh. I have <laughs> to, don't I? Yes. Right? I have three boots. So go in here. And I got an artifact. The dragon goes up. Oh. Um, what did you think you lost? I, I kind of felt like, like they dropped a card. Yeah. Yeah. And I have five to spend, and I'll take the briefcase of holding that will allow me to draw two cards. Right? Yeah. Uh, oh, but minus two clank. Ooh, acquire. You don't, you don't have any clank. I don't have any clank, so this one is useless to me. Steve right is now. not appearing in this film right now. What? I'm carrying everyone for my imminent demise. Okay. okay. Uh, so you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Dragon. I have an artifact. Mm -hmm. I'm stoked. Mm -hmm. Dragon attack for five on Matt's turn. Oh. Hey, it was, I it could was die over too. Already. Three in a row. It's over already. You're not that far away from the... All right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Does anything happen to die? Let's see, hold on. Uh, I get no points this game. I you know, scholars have debated it for centuries. <laughs> Wait, you're, you are involuntarily taken off the clock when you're knocked out. Yeah. This happens when your health meter's full. If you didn't pick up an artifact or if your figure is in the danger zone of the board, well, you get to do this on that's your bad turn. for you. Instead of counting oh, your yeah. score as described above, you score zero points. You can take yeah. title knock down with you. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas yeah. it. Only, only four. He only took four. My only four. Only four. Only four. Oh, right. right. Because it's that's what it is. The chair is leaving pretty soon too. So. I think I'm gonna get out this turn. And put a white into the yep. game. And put a white into the game. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm nice like that. I am probably not gonna. Uh, how many? How much? Three. I got two. I got two. Oh. I guess I have two. Okay. Safe. Oh, all all nothing. Safe. Yeah. Exactly nothing. All right, my turn. Yeah. Okay. So I've got all of this. So nice. my, my first boot's going to take me into the uh, ruins. I'm going to plunder a ruin, so I get two gold. And that's the thing you wanted to do. That's the thing I wanted yeah. to do. Wow. Things worked out quite well for you. Uh, so I get two Remember gold. Remember one good turn I had? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Remember, man, can we play that back? <laughs> <laughs> Just get Steve a clip of it. Toward yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to spend, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to use my second boot to move into Northern Ridge. Uh, I'm going to spend seven to buy a canoe, uh, mm, cool. and then my turns. Oh, my game's over immediately when I move into the last space, right? Uh, I'm not clear uh, on that. Okay, so I'll, I'll spend my stuff just to be safe. Yeah. So I've got three fight that I will use to defeat. It happens when you arrive at HQ with okay. an artifact. So okay. before I spend my final boot, I will use my three fight to defeat the random encounter table, which gives me another major secret. Oh, I, I'm supposed to be checking this every time I do yeah. it, right? That's mm -hmm. my third major secret this game. So you actually completed the I completed the row. Wow. Uh, Three major secrets. And that gave me five gold, which is basically five points. So Jared's 
Yes. <laughs> in, in case you and the audience were wondering, Jared is a cheater. Can we start over? <laughs> from my perspective, I think we need a new copy of the from game. my perspective, when Jared makes a mistake, it's uh, cheating, but that's okay because we're supposed to cheat. <laughs> and when Jared wins, it's cheating, and we're not supposed to do that. <laughs> So I'm also going to use my um, eight skill to buy four mercenaries, which gets me exactly to 25 cards, which is my last goal. <laughs> are you, you, <laughs> have, you, are you checking? Are you checking off your? Uh, you're, you're these on the other side too. I have, you I only have completed that. one row. I completed two of them. Oh yeah, so, so, you, so get you get two, two checks yeah. on the other yep. side. Too. Uh, so oh, that, and then I will use my last. Boot. Oh yeah, you should hate him. I'll use my last boot right. and my canoe. There's a lot of people I hate right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have antagonized the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. And then I am done. I, no, I, hey, I, I no dragon attack on my turn. <sighs> okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> it's over, right? so, so you draw four, I and then I get turn, and then four, 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 and then, and then I get another turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I hope host. you got enough movement to get across that line, basically. If you I, even get the chance. I am doomed. I am super doomed. All right. Reds are irrelevant. Yep. Blues are irrelevant. But yep. green Only is green. not. Okay. <laughs> one, one away. Okay. It's my go. Yep. Uh, Just I get have, above the surface. I wish I could. Uh, so I got seven to spend. Uh, well, it actually feels like we could potentially have ended up seeing the empty bag scenario. Mm, well, okay. this would once you. Well, yeah, if you. I make it like I get two bucks, but I don't do that. So I get oh, seven. yeah, what does the empty bag do? We all lose, or we all get knocked out. So I only have one boot, and I need oh. three boots to move, so I'm doomed. There. Uh, and two. Oh, so interesting. You get stuck over there if you don't have three. Yeah. Well, you can go back the other way for two. But I think, yeah. And then I'll take this one for two, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I seem pretty doomed here. Mm -hmm. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. No dragon. Oh, but oh, what an event! event. <laughs> All players. players must reveal a fight from their hand. Each player who can't gets plus one point. But, but I we, assume that doesn't matter. So, okay, hold on, i got to shuffle and draw. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and that card's going to go to And then it goes card. away and replaced. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if it... Yeah, I think it, it gets replaced. Okay. But we'll wait until this resolves. So I gotta draw hand five, and hopefully there's a sword in there. Maybe we shouldn't name, shouldn't have named our headquarters after dead things. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the sleeping corpse today. And I have to reveal a sword, otherwise I get what? Uh, otherwise you get a clank. But I am moving like crazy my next turn if I get one. Uh, and then and it's a sapphire right. turn. Okay. Dragon attack before my turn. Yeah, so five. this one's five. This one's five. So I have to avoid two. one cube. Three, in four draws. Four, there is a light in there, five. so it's not looking good. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't even know if there's enough cubes to get through them all before you turn. Oh, but you oh wow! You Wait, how many pulls? How many pulls? That was five for the dragon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah. And then I'll do my four for my turn. Why do? It hit, hits you take one damage. Yeah. And then it goes back in the bag. But I'm, but I'm dead. Yeah. So the game is over. Hey, we're on time. Hello! <laughs> All right, so what's the. you got to guide so, us through the end game. Yes, so yes, yes. Yeah, we yeah, okay. have at least one contract. Okay, so, so let's see. I'm, I'm going to go slow. Slow and steady since this is our first time ending the game. Okay. Did you take the. Yeah, you took the. So, so what's the contract? Which yes. contract is it? Uh, the bushwhacking is going to uh, fire. Trigger. Yeah. So the game ends. Uh, so once player. And once all players have gone off the clock, that's everybody. Each player was knocked out. Count their score as follows. This score, so you guys got to count your, your yep. points. Yep. Yeah, your points. The player with the most points is the winner. And it's clear the franchise is the most valuable employee until the start of your next game, at least. Uh, in the case of a tie, the tied player with the most valuable artifact is the winner. If you're playing campaign... If you're playing the campaign, yeah, continue the end of campaign. Okay, end of a campaign game. When you finish playing... Yeah, yeah. Drink. Okay, fill out your mission report. Okay, so the mission report. Where do we have... Mission report. Uh, we got to fill in the mission report. Yeah. Fill in the game scores in the appropriate row in your mission report. Oh, yes. Great plan. 
and a review. Yeah, 53. Well, 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 so not that. Close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was really close. Right. You, had, you had 53, Jerry? I believe I have 53. It's 20, mm -hmm. 30, 40, 53. Yep. Yeah. Gold is worth points, right? Zero, and Mohan, what did you have? 47. 47? Okay, uh, let's see. If you've already filled in the associate spotlight information for this game, the epilogue passage you read in the next step, that you read in the next step will explain. Wait, what? Okay, we'll get for, there. For this spot here. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's not the winner, it says. Yeah. Parenthesis here. Okay, your mission reports, along with your personal check marks of grudging approval, will be considered by the Home <laughs> Office when assessing your performance at the end of your campaign. Uh, so, let's see. Read contracts and the epilogue passage. Check for any contracts that have instructions for the end yep. of the game and do as they say. Yep, yep. so, so bushwhacking. Uh, get 109 from the card forium. And then destroy bushwhacking. Wait, that's, it doesn't say it said read a passage? Nope. Oh. It just says fetch card. I'm sure reading 44 would have given us a more flavorful version of yeah. whatever. But this is going to give us the, the alternate path out. <laughs> yeah. A walk in the woods. After reading the game 2 prologue, read 17. Oh, so we have okay. to find out. It's just a marker game. to, mm -hmm. to set up the problem. And what does it say? Do you have to destroy? Yep. We should collect all that. <laughs> you don't get all fancy. Each card is being destroyed in a different yeah. way. She doesn't okay. have to not get all fancy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but we don't know anything about the associate spotlight thing, right? That comes in the epilogue. Oh, oh, oh. we got to read the epilogue. Okay. And now, uh, let's read from the... Epilogue. Next, read aloud from the Book of Secrets the epilogue passage for the game you just completed, as specified mission board. So, six. you gotta read six from the book. All right. Sure. Can I read? Yeah. The end of the adventure means the start of Form D slash N17. Quote, documentation for the filing of deeds both noble and lucrative. The paperwork takes almost as long as the actual adventure, but the moment you finish signing, it vanishes in a flash of documents. <laughs> you find in its place a business card. Acquisitions Incorporated. Your application is under consideration, allow one to six weeks for processing. In the meantime, you might as well clean up this old inn and turn it into a proper headquarters. This feels like the start of a very profitable endeavor. Okay, right, now it's rules. During the campaign, players can earn a place in the associate spotlight during each game by fulfilling the franchise's primary mission. This is a separate honor from being crowd MVE, the most valuable employee for winning a game. The player who first returned to HQ and acclaimed and claimed their mug token earns this game's associate spotlight. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Enter that player's name in the associate spotlight column of your mission report sheet for game one. It is possible to have no associate spotlight in a game, in this case if no player claimed a mug token. <laughs> um, in that case, leave the column blank. Go to sticker sheet A, group one, apply R20, 23, 25, and 32 to the rule book. A. This, okay. you said A, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. sticker sheet A. R20, 23, 25, and 32, which is these new rules. Some cards and tokens have an acquisition incorporated seal of excellence. You'll add seals to cards during the campaign. For each set of three seals of excellence you collect, you get 10 points and a check mark of grudging approval. <laughs> uh, the winner of this game chooses two cards from the adventure deck with blue name banners and applies an official acquisitions incorporated seal of excellence sticker to each of them just below the point symbol, they may choose cards that were they may choose cards that were purchased during the game. Leave the remaining stickers unused. Go to token punch board one and retrieve the major secret tokens. Add them to the secret pool. Players should keep their cubes and starting deck cards uh, in their deck boxes between games. Come back next game for license to shill or <laughs> charter better, faster, stronger. Okay, wait, nice. go back. I gotta. You gotta go Sweet. Slower, I, uh, yeah, I, so I still don't understand what being the MBE or having the Associate Spotlight actually did. Yeah, uh, so, being, so being the Associate Spotlight, uh, is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe it doesn't mean anything yet. <laughs> so the rules, so to go back and yep. slow Which down with the rules. So some cards and tokens yeah, yeah. have an acquisition. No, 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 no. no, no. So what stickers? stickers oh, that sorry. R20, yeah. R23, yeah. R25, yeah. R32. Okay. And the little, these things? Does this, this... It says... Uh, those are things we're going to be putting on cards. Yeah. So now or later? I'm going to be doing two of them now. The winner of this game okay. chooses two cards and puts the sticker on them, and then we don't apply any others right now. 
Unless we add some mid game collection. next time, it will be impossible to collect that three. So we, three. we're also adding some new major secret tokens, so I bet some of them are news. I love putting stickers in books. It's like the sticker books when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And, and R32, is that the last one? Yeah, so I, I have to bail for a meeting. What? Uh, that's starting. Wait, oh, R32's on the back. And you're going to have to put your, your stickers on first. You're, yeah. you're, you're going to have to catch me offline to do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we can do that later. We can, we can, I think, actually, this would be a good time to start the stream anyway. Okay. I think so, too. do some perusing of rules. Maybe some yes. advice, and we can do the rest of that offline. That sounds great. So that was game one. Of uh, Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated. We uh, will be back next week mm -hmm. with the uh, same party of adventures, Scoreboard same, <laughs> same uh, franchise, same, uh, well, everything's going to change, but same people at least. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, we hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope, hope you come back next week. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. bye. bye.